In this video, we're going to talk about references. References have some similarities with pointers, but overall they have a nicer syntax and they're generally easier to use. References are particularly useful for passing large objects to a function without having to make a copy of them, and we're going to talk about that more in a later video. In this video, we're just going to look at an example of how to define a reference and some of its basic properties. Okay, so here's the basic example of a reference. We initialize an int x, and then in the next line, we initialize a reference to an integer called xref, and initialize it with the uh, initialize it with x. So xref is now an alias for x. Anything that we do to x will affect xref, and vice versa. So we saw with pointers that a star could play two different roles. It was the dereferencing operator and was also used to denote a pointer type in declaring a pointer variable. So it's similar with, with ampersand. It, it also can play two different roles here. So you see it's used in the definition of, of xref. Um, and just keep in mind that this role you know, declaring a, a reference type is distinct from its role as the address operator. Okay, so here's an example just showing that a change that we make to x affects x, x ref and, vi and vice versa. Okay, so if we change x to be 5, then x ref is now 5 as well. Okay, so this next line when we print out xref, we'll print out the value 5. On the other hand, if we change xref to be 10, then when we print out x in the following line, then its value is now going to be 10. Okay, and you can play with this code yourself on, on Godbolt. So a, a reference to a variable and the variable are really indistinguishable. So they even have the same address. So if we print out the address of x here, and the address of xref, these are going to be the same. Okay, so let's talk about the similarities and differences between references and pointers. So the first difference between them is that a reference has to be initialized. Okay, so it has to be bound to another variable uh, when you declare the, the, the reference. So there's no analog of just int star pointer, you know, an uninitialized pointer to an int. Uh, also, a reference is bound to the variable with which it is initialized. So we cannot let it later let it stand for a different variable. Whereas, you know, we can change the address that a pointer points to. And finally, there's no analog of a null pointer for references. So a reference is always bound to a valid memory location. And a big advantage of references is just that the syntax is easier. So it's nice that you can act on a reference in the, exactly the same way that you act on the variable that it aliases. And, and that's a really convenient uh, feature of references.